Today I show you how to take a screenshot on your iPhone. This is a very simple way to take a screenshot. On iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max you have the power button but also the camera button. On previous iPhone models there is no camera button. So on this right side, on the right side the button that is higher here, the power button, and then you have the volume buttons, you have the power button on the right side of your iPhone and then you have the volume buttons, volume up and volume down on your left side of the iPhone and then the silent. So this is the silent button and now it's the silent is removed. So to take a screenshot, a simple screenshot of the current screen, whatever you see on the screen, for example, it's my website here, you could see this website and if you want to take a screenshot of this, all you have to do is press the power button and the volume up button at the same time. Like that. It didn't make the sound because it was on silent. So you normally you would hear the sound when you take a screenshot like this. So you can also do something on this. You can take notes on the page. For example, you can use all this. You can highlight some area of the page. You can draw on it. You can do really anything. And when you're done, you press done. Save to photos or save to files. I prefer to choose save to photos, especially if it's a picture like this. And you can even take a screenshot of anything. Power button, volume up. And you can add these annotations, but you can press down and that's, that's the option. Also, you don't have to do any edit. Also, you don't have to do any editing. You don't have to do any annotation. If you want to take a quick screenshot, you press the power button and volume up and you let it, it will fade away. This, as you use the iPhone, it will fade away. But there is an interesting way also to do this. You took the screenshot and you can swipe it, you swipe it away and it's gone. This is iOS 18.4 with my iPhone 16 Pro Max, but this is going to be very similar on most iPhones. It's very easy to take screenshots and there might be other ways to take a screenshot, but for me, the most simple one is to use the power button and volume up. You took a screenshot and it's ready to use, ready to send. And you, when you do it like this, you will find the screenshot in the Photos app. When you do it like this, you will find the screenshot in your Photos app. Or you will, if you save it as a PDF, you will, say, you will have it in your Files app, in your Downloads folder, and on the iCloud folder. So if I took this screenshot now and I save it, I press done and save to files. Okay, I could give it a name, choose save, and then I can go into the downloads folder here and I should have two files now. Uh, I deleted the previous one. So it's already on iCloud, it's already synchronized. And that's the file there. You can zoom in on the file, you can you can really do anything with it. You can zoom in on the file, you can do anything with it. <clears throat> you can really zoom in on the file, you can do anything with it. And if you want to delete it, it's very easy. A long press on it, delete, and it's gone. And the same is going to be in the photos you will find in the recent photos app. The photo, you can also use it the same way. You can also share it. You can have these menus below here. You can share the photo in other apps. It's very easy. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. Zoom in.